following program is brought to you in living color on NBC by Ford. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ford Show. I'm sorry I can't talk anymore. The Ford Show is coming on. Sorry. Come on in and watch it with me. What do you mean you don't have time? I've got time. Tennessee Ernie Ford! You're ahead in a Ford Summertime in the good old summertime. Strolling through a shady lane with your baby mine. You hold her hand and she holds yours, and that's a very good sign that she's your tootsie wootsie in the good old summertime. I hope everybody is up in the buggy. And you folks at home, thank you for letting us come in. And if you don't mind, I would like to tell you about a little visit that I made last week. I had a time. I was invited to Washington, D.C. to play in a golf tournament at the famous Burning Tree Country Club. Now, that's an event they have every year where all the senators and congressmen, cabinet officers, and other important political figures get together to honor the president. And now old Ern got to go. Now all the politicians of both parties look forward to this thing. You know. And I must say it was fascinating the way they play golf. One Democratic senator stepped up on the tee to hit the ball he saw somebody down in the fairway, standing in the fairway, and he yelled, Four! The fellow down the fairway was a Republican. He raised his hand and yelled back, Against! <laughs> and, they, 
from that and sort of creeped around. <laughs> but uh, then there was this other senator. He was having a terrible time hitting the ball. So someone suggested he stand a little more to his left. He wouldn't do it. That was Senator Barry Goldwater. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then there was this foursome right ahead of me. They played slow. So I walked up and tapped one of them on the shoulder and says, do you mind if I play through, ladies? Was I embarrassed? It was four Supreme Court justices in their robes. <laughs> and I... <laughs> Now, they may have played bad, but they knew the rules. <laughs> now, this was one tournament where none of the golfers told little white lies about their scores. At the end of the 18th hole, when you turned in your scorecard, you know who was waiting right there? Senator Key Fauver. And he said, <laughs> there he was. And after the golf tournament, they had a big, beautiful dinner. And I felt very honored to have been called upon to entertain, say a few words. I, uh, they usually have Bob Hope, but he couldn't be there this year. He's up on the moon waiting for our troops to get there so he can entertain us. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a hand. But you know, the dinner was a wonderful affair with music by the Defense Department Orchestra, otherwise known as McNamara's Band. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got <laughs> The menu was cute. I did, so whoever made up the menu was a, it was a real artist, very cute. Some of the dishes named after the guests, like they had um, Secretary Dylan Pickles, <laughs> Shishka Bobby Kennedy. <laughs> Prime Ribicoff of beef. <clears throat> Dean Rusk of melon. We had Cape Hearts of lettuce with French dressing Jacqueline. <laughs> and Baby Peas Carolyn. <laughs> Thank you. Whoever had thought of that. Of course, I'm just poking a little fun here. Actually, it was a tremendous affair, and I certainly felt honored to be invited and to be there and have that chance to meet all those fine and dedicated people. It was a real treat for me, and I did have a wonderful time. Well, I've gabbed long enough, because right now, I'm going to get out of here and make room for another wonderful person. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest, Mr. Tab Hutter.
for a visit in just a minute. Now I've got a few words to say about Ford. Hear ye, hear ye, the case of other cars against the 61 Ford. What's the charge? Your Honor, the 61 Ford is accused of being unfair by not using enough time and money for maintenance. How does the defendant plead? Not guilty, Your Honor, on account of extenuating circumstances. Very well, then. Mr. Prosecutor? Your Honor, we have documented proof that the accused here refuses to use up its owner's time and money for chassis lubrications, for brake adjustments, and for oil changes. What does the defense have to say? We admit all that, Your Honor, but the truth is, the 61 Ford doesn't need all that attention. Can you prove that, Counselor? We certainly can, sir. Exhibit A. Ford's new lubrication system lets you travel 30,000 miles without a lube job. Exhibit B, the 61 Ford adjusts its own brakes automatically. Exhibit C, Ford's new full-flow oil filter lets you go 4,000 miles between oil changes. In other words, Your Honor, my client doesn't have to be pampered like other cars. It offers time and money-saving features now that the others can only plan for the future. And they can't duplicate those features now any more than they can successfully imitate my client's styling. Your Honor, only the 61 Ford is beautifully built to take care of itself. Right. Case dismissed. And for even more evidence, folks, see your Ford dealer. When you do, then you know why we say you're a And gentlemen, our guest, the fine gentleman, Tab Hunter. Fine, you boy. <laughs> Buddy, it's a delight to have you around. You know, it's well, been fun all week. Thank you, Ern. I've really enjoyed it. I, really I, 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 I have it. Now, girls, take a look. How's that for June bait, huh? <laughs> Why you <have> that? <laughs> oh, oh. oh, Buddy. Tab, don't you ever think about marriage? All the time, Ernie. That's what keeps me single. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you must be about the most envied man in Hollywood. Now, here you are, you, you successful. Hundreds of girls are chasing after you. You're good looking, you're a handsome boy. You know, buddy, if you were a rooster, you'd have the whole world for a hen house. Did you know <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I've been pretty lucky, Ernie. I really have, but it wasn't always like this. You know how you used to give uh, your gal when you go out with her, uh, her kid brother, give, she'd give him a quarter so that he could go out to the movies? Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I was so broke, I used to take the quarter and pocket it and leave the gal with her kid brother. <laughs> I know what you mean. You know, before you can get a break in this business that we're in right now, it takes a lot of scratching around, don't it? Oh, it sure does. <laughs> oh, I remember when I first came out here, hmm. I had to share a broken down room with some unemployed actor. I didn't hmm. have a penny. Hmm. Didn't have a job, couldn't get a job, and then things really took a turn for the worse. <laughs> you know, I went through the very same thing. And the terrible part is, you know, being an actor, you have to keep up a front all the time. Really, people expect so much. Yeah, we fooled them from the front, but when we turned around, they knew. <laughs> That's right, Ernie. <laughs> With, <laughs> oh, we did a lot of sitting around in those days. Did huh? we ever? <laughs> hey, why don't we show the folks what happens and what it's like right. when we start trying to break out and get a job in this business. All right, now, that's Bob a good Lamond, idea. Bob Lamond will set the scene. And if uh, Harry scene, Geller, yeah. could you give us a little music to struggle by? Here we go. This is the plushest, most luxurious hotel in Hollywood. In these sumptuous surroundings live the stars and greats of show business enjoying the air-conditioned rooms, the exclusive shops, the pool and cabanas, and the tennis courts. It's a gay and exciting life. And a few miles away, just out of the high rent district, in a hotel that's being completely renovated to put it in good enough condition to condemn, <laughs> we find Ernie Ford and Tab Hunter, two struggling young aspirants to show business. Let us take you up the stairs to their room.
you load 14 tons. Body. No, that's not right. That's something wrong somewhere. You load 15 tons. What are you? I got it. You load 17 tons. What are you? I'll never get anywhere singing a song like that anyhow. Tab. Is there anything in there at all about getting a job anywhere? Nothing, Ernie, nothing. Look, old buddy, we've been sitting around here about six months. We've got no job, no money. Now, I don't know how much longer we're going to hold on and hold out. Well, you know, last night I thought of ending it all. I might have, too, if it wasn't for the girl next door. What'd she do? She borrowed my razor. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tab. Yeah? Why don't we eat? Then maybe we can think better on a full stomach. Say, that's a good idea. I'll go check and see if that landlady's... Check that out. landlady. You know, if she sees us cooking in here... <laughs> hey, hey, we're dead. It's all clear. Let's set the table, set huh? Set the table. Okay, buddy. Huh? Clean linen. Here we go. Clean linen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about that? You want to get the dishes? Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> hey, you're kind of dirty, right? Huh? <laughs> Would you fix the flour? <laughs> Say, we need some milk. You got any milk? Yeah. Get some milk. We got any milk? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, home. What are we having for dinner, huh? <laughs> Hot dogs a la chiffonier. <laughs> Rosebud radishes. No, we're not again. Haven't we got any of that, that old salami we had last week? Salami? Yeah. 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 What? I got this sock about done anyhow. <laughs> Are you sure that's the same Whoa. sock? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. Well, you wanted salami? You wanted your socks done. There's nothing. Tab, Tab, no. you think, why, why don't we just forget this and, and just go out and get a job in a factory or something? What? You mean get out of showbiz? Are you kidding? And lower our standard of living? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is glamorous work we're out of. <laughs> a job. Huh? That's the phone. That's the phone. Where's the phone? Where's it? Here it is. Uh, er, er, don't act too anxious. Please remember, we've got to keep up a big front like we're doing great. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Starlight Towers West. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hunter, I'll connect you. He's at the pool. <laughs> Poolside here, <laughs> Mr. Hunter. One moment, please. He's just diving. <laughs> splendid form, sir. Splendid. Good show. Splendid, sir. Great form. Can I give Mr. Hunter a message? Three o'clock at Paragon. <laughs> Three o'clock, Paramount. Screen test. Thank you. I'm sure he won't be late. Thank you. Three o'clock at Paramount. Three o'clock at Paramount. Now, buddy, we got to get you yeah, ready. You better believe it. That's your shirt. Yeah. Let me look at it. Oh, boy. What are you doing, Ern? What are you doing? It's frayed. 
But I need a tie or a collar or something. Tie or collar. Oh. <laughs> Everybody in Hollywood wears an ascot. Now tie that. Go ahead. <laughs> Say, I need a clip or a pin to hold this down, Ern. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I never thought of that. Right, right there. Now, you see, we'll fix this right here. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait. Now, you see, your jacket will hide that. Jacket? Our jacket's in the cleaners, Ern. Never fear, Big E is here. <laughs> oh, Ernie, not a bathroom. Not a bathrobe. Now you wait a minute. Put this robe on. Or I can't. Now, now just, 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 just a minute. One, one, one more thing. One more thing. California casual, huh? I still feel like, 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 I just can't do an interview in the bathroom. I mean, I can't Oh, buddy, you like ain't this. up the creek without a paddle yet. Now, you wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Look pretty good, huh? Now, don't you forget right in the middle of that screen test and blow your nose, will you not? <laughs> All right? Okay. You're ready to go, and I'll, I'll, I'll be with you in just a minute. You'll be with me? Yeah. Ernie, where are you going looking like that? Well, the folks at Bill Ford Cars wanted somebody to sing on a nighttime television show, and I'm dressed for it. Let's go. <laughs> How would you like to try stopping two tons moving at 60 miles an hour? Well, actually, you do it all the time when you're driving your car. And fortunately, the brakes on today's cars are so efficient, you can do it easily and safely. After thousands of stops, however, the brake linings wear down. And to compensate, a mechanic has to adjust the brakes. This normally happens every four to six months. Now, we've deliberately worn down the brake linings on this Sunliner to show you an important new feature of the 61 Ford. As you can see by all the play in the pedal, these brakes need adjustment. But unlike the brakes in most cars, they don't need a mechanic. To adjust these brakes, all you do is back up and stop. You see, in a 61 Ford, every time you stop while in reverse, a mechanical brain checks for wear, and if necessary, mechanically adjusts the brakes automatically, thereby saving you the expensive nuisance of a service stop. Now look, there's only normal play in the pedal. Self-adjusting brakes are only one of the many ways the 1961 Ford is beautifully built to take care of itself.
future seen, I gladly trust with thee. Straight to my home above, I travel calmly on. Thank you very much. That's it for tonight. I want to thank Tab Hunter for dropping by and paying us such a pleasant visit. What a fine young man. And don't forget, we'll be back next week when our guest will be one of the finest golfers on the current professional circuit today, the winner of Golfdom's most coveted prize, the Masters Tournament, Mr. Gary Player, will be with us next week. Let's say good night to our guest, Tab Hunter. Tab, come out and see it. Thank you very much. Come back soon. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay, buddy. See you the You bet. <laughs> bye bye. Isn't he a fine boy? Until next week, at this same time, if it's the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, we'll see you. Drop in and see your Ford dealer. He's got a stall full of goodies. Good night and bless your little pea picking heart. <laughs> The Ford Show has been presented by Ford, who invites you to stop in, swap, and save on a 61 Ford. Now, during your Ford dealer's fabulous swapping fee. Color presentation on NBC. Now stay tuned for Groucho Marx and the Groucho Show next over most of these NBC stations, followed by JFK Report Number Four, an account of the President's reception in Paris. The circle of safety. Check your car. Check your driving. Check accidents.